Once a model has been created, you can place views of the model on title block sheets to print. Views can include floor plans, 3D camera views, 3D quick views, elevations, sections, and details. Select one of the predefined worksheet tabs at the bottom of the screen. This automatically takes you to worksheet view, where you lay out views of your model to print. You will notice a title block is already set to border around your drawings. To insert a view of your model onto the sheet to print, select Insert, Smart Views, Define Smart View. A smart view is a view of the 3D model that you have created in Model View that you want to print out. The Insert View dialog box will appear and you will see a preview of your model. What is displayed in the preview is exactly what will print. The options on the left of the dialog box help to define exactly what you want to print. As an example, you can print a 2D floor plan or 3D camera views or elevations or sections. For each of the views, such as the 2D views, you can also define a scale. Depending on the size of your paper, you may want to alter the scale of the floor plan to fit the paper size. At the bottom of the dialog box are options to further define the view. The icon that has an eye on it is the view filter. This handy utility allows you to turn on or off the visibility of certain items depending on the type of print you are creating. As an example, you can shut the eye, turning off the visibility of everything but floor framing, and that would allow you to define a floor joist layout plan. For our example, I'm going to turn off the outline of our floors, ceilings, and roof for a nice, clean floor plan. I will also select the Elements on Terrain tab to hide the terrain. That is the green line that trails around the entire building, the outline of the terrain in 3D. When you click OK, those elements that you turned off will no longer be visible. There are also view tools at the bottom of the dialog box that allow you to zoom in and out of the view in the preview. If you zoom in on the view, remember that what you see in the preview dialog is exactly what will be inserted. So if you cut something off, it will also be cut off when it is inserted. You can use this strategically when you want to insert just one room at an increased scale. Zoom in on just that one room and all else will be left off. Once you are happy with a view, you are ready to insert it. There are two insertion methods. Image is used for 3D images. It makes the inserted view out of pixels for a sharp color image. The drawing option is a vector image that makes the view out of lines and text and is perfect for floor plans, elevations, and sections. I will ensure drawings is set for our floor plan and click insert. A copy of the floor plan attaches to my cursor and I left click to insert it on the sheet. I will repeat that process to also insert an elevation on this same sheet. You can have as many sheets as you want or as many different views on one sheet. The software gives you ultimate flexibility on how you want to lay out your drawing sheets. The Smart View command can also be started by selecting the Smart View icon and then selecting Define View. We are defining a view of the model that we want to insert onto a sheet. In the Insert View dialog, this time I'm going to select the Elevation tab. You can insert one of the predefined elevations. Again, the utilities at the bottom of the screen will allow me to define how I want to insert this view. This time I'm going to change the display mode of the elevation. This allows me to turn the elevation from a hidden line view to a hatch pattern view, or a rendered view, or a rendered outline view. Depending on who is going to see the elevation and for what purpose, you can alter the type of view you are inserting. Elevations and sections have the added bonus of automatically adding elevation datum line information to the view. You can mark the inserted views with datum lines at the ground, floor, head height, ceiling and wall height for each location. The number of documented lines as well as their settings are fully customizable in the program settings dialog box. Add a custom datum block at the end of the datum line. You can even decide if you want it on both sides of the elevation. The line types, their color, and line weight can be adjusted to meet your office standards. And the text used has settings that affect its placement, style, and alignment. 
Again, select the Insert button. Since I am inserting a hatch pattern view of my elevation, I want the line work to be crisp, so I use the Drawing Insertion mode. The elevation attaches to my cursor and I left click to insert it. That one command, defining a smart view, gives you the control to define a number of various types of views and with the added flexibility of the display filter to turn off the visibility of certain elements and the display mode buttons to change the type of view. The possibilities of all different types of drawings can be created and inserted onto the drawing sheets to present to a client or the building departments for permits.